Well, the pandemic housing market has forced many families to overpay for homes, but now car buyers are facing the same surcharges with new SUVs. Consumer reporter John Matteries explains why so you don't waste your money. Have you been shopping for new SUV or pickup truck lately? If so, you may have to forget about haggling over the price. Some people are now paying over the price listed on the window sticker. The new car shortage shows no signs of letting up, leaving car buyers like Aurelia Gilliam facing nearly barren dealer lots. A lot of them are empty. And when you do find a hot vehicle, they can be thousands above MSRP. They showed me what the sticker was, and I saw that they had added another $10,000 over the sticker. Paul Johnson was stunned by a $10,000 market adjustment over his new Escalade's sticker price. They told me that it was what they were able to get for the car because it was in such demand. Johnson doesn't want to name the dealer to avoid ruining his relationship. So what do you think of this? It's, it's insane, really. It's you pay sticker, no negotiation. The best way to avoid running into this situation right now, try not to buy one of the most in-demand vehicles on the lot. And we're talking about full-size three-row SUVs. You know, smaller vehicles, uh, economy cars, traditional sedans, these haven't been hot for years. So that's where you want to go if you're trying to save some money. Carl Breyer, analyst at iccars.com, says vehicles with the highest average markups include the Jeep Wrangler, $9,000 over sticker, GMC Yukon, $7,000 over sticker, Kia Telluride, $5,000 over sticker. It's not price gouging because the sticker is only a suggested price. Dealers hope supplies of new vehicles improve this winter when fewer people are shopping for new cars. As always, don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, Chris 6 News.